Hello everyone and welcome to my mini review of the Logitech G305 Lightspeed wireless gaming mouse. This is the mouse I use on a daily basis and I, uh, I have used it for quite a few years now and I just want to give you guys my thoughts on my overall experience and usage with this mouse and whether I would recommend you guys go and pick this up. Now straight off the bat we have the overall design of this mouse. It's a bit on the smaller side but I think that if you have a nice claw grip like I usually do it's pretty nice in terms of size. It's made of all plastic so it's not the highest quality feeling mouse in the world but it's definitely not low quality feeling. It's just like a decent plastic material, nothing crazy. Got a nice little on or off switch on the bottom here in case you want to turn it off in the middle of traveling or something. Pretty handy to have. We also have this really easy to remove back cover that's also made of plastic and it has the battery and the 2.4 gigahertz dongle in it, which is really nice to have for traveling as well. You pull it out like this. And yeah, it's pretty nice to have a nice little crevice like that just to put your little dongle in. It's a really nice travel mouse. The actual buttons feel pretty high quality and the scroll wheel is pretty tactile. There aren't many extra buttons on here besides the side buttons and also the middle DPI button. You can adjust your DPI on the fly like that. So really a pretty bare bones standard mouse, but if you just want these simple things and you want them to be done well, this is a very nice little mouse. Now my overall usage with this mouse has been pretty good. It's a wireless mouse with no option of Bluetooth. You only have that 2.4 gigahertz option, but I find that the latency is awesome on this mouse. Everything is responsive and nothing really feels like it's sluggish. So that's nice to have. And also the sensor in this thing is really nice too, but that's a given considering it's a Logitech gaming mouse and they usually use pretty good sensors in their mice. I would also say that the battery life in this mouse is absolutely really, really good. Now it's not rechargeable, so that's that technically a downside Side. You, don't, you, can't, you can't just pop it on the charger and recharge it. But I don't think you'll ever feel the need to do that because it takes a single AA battery and it lasts for months. If you get like a nice rechargeable AA battery and you recharge it, you probably won't have to change the battery, but once every three to six months, depending on your usage, it's really nice. And I believe the first battery that I came with actually lasted close to a full year. So that's a big upside of this mouse. You will have some really, really good battery life. And if that matters to you, then this is a good buy. Now, in terms of longevity, this will last you a, a good while. However, I do believe that there are some quality control issues with Logitech mice in general. They'll have a um, pretty common double clicking problem where if you click once it'll register as two clicks and it can be annoying. Although I will say that I had it pop up and all I had to do was clean it a little bit. I, I cleaned around the you know the crevices and stuff and it seemed to really just go away over over time so maybe it's not a permanent issue. Just make sure you clean your mice regularly and make sure that nothing is really super dirty and it might might be fine although this also ties into the price to performance where i think this mouse is such a cheap price for for what you're getting and honestly if you have any issues with it it wouldn't be a big deal to just replace it and get a new one and i don't, I don't think you'll run into a huge issue in like a year of usage it might take three maybe maybe three or four years before you run into any sort of double clicking issues so you know it's not a huge investment it's not a huge risk really and i think that it will serve you pretty well in the price performance. Now in conclusion, would I recommend this mouse at all? Yes, I would definitely recommend this mouse. If you want something that's small, good for travel, and just very versatile in terms of usage, I would definitely say this mouse is very nice to use. There are definitely some alternatives out there that might be better bang for your buck, but I see this mouse go on sale pretty regularly, well below MSRP, and it's actually, for the price, I think you can't really get much better than this. If you're a claw gripper like me, it's really nice for the size, because it's not a huge mouse at all. It's like a lower size mouse, so it's not the biggest mouse in the world. It's good for travel, it's good if you want to just put in your backpack or something and maybe, you know, use it for a laptop. Pretty cheap mouse with a good sensor and good, good battery life. Any of the shortcomings it does have, I will forgive just purely because of the lower price bracket. And, you know, like I said, if you ever break it or have an issue like that, it's, you can either, you know, clean it, replace a part, or just buy a new one. Like, it's not a big deal to buy a new one. They're very cheap. Overall, though, I would give this mouse probably a 7.5 out of 10. It's very, very nice, especially for its price, and I don't think that you'll be very angry at all if you were to buy this mouse on, on sale or something. But anyways, I hope you guys uh, liked this video, and I hope you guys found this mini review useful and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this mouse like i did and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye thank you for watching